Hey. All right. Still got the broken hand. Let's see what's going on. I don't, it, it doesn't have to be in the cast, but I put it on when I go to sleep, um, just in case I sleep on it weird and, you know, who knows what I'm, I'm, what I'm doing while, while I'm sleeping. And I just woke up, it's like 11 o'clock right now. I woke up at about an hour ago. So I haven't taken the cast off yet. I, I kind of wait until um, it gets hot enough that I'm sweating so the cast doesn't get all nasty. But I'm, I'm trying to leave it in the cast about half the time and take it out about half the time to give it some air and a little more movement in my hand and fingers. I've been over the past few days trying to do as much as I can to organize these containers. So this is what's going to be my workshop container. And then that one over there is the storage container. I've been kind of using one hand mostly. I mean, one arm. Whenever I need, I'll, I'll use this arm just to, as like a little support while trying not to stress it out at all, really. If I can figure out some sort of a, a roofing around the containers so the lawnmowers don't have to go inside the container then that might be better i don't know i guess i don't really have a lot to talk about <laughs> i just need to i just need to get all this stuff out finish vacuuming in the inside I, i'm not super happy okay I'm, I'm getting more stuff to talk about than i expected but like about the condition of this container in particular. There's a bunch of rust on the inside. Not a bunch, there, there, there's like minimal surface rust. One day I had this thing, there was like a torrential downpour and I didn't lock it down as tight as I would have locked like to because one, one of the issues is that the locks or the latches on here, it doesn't fit very well. Like I, I literally have to bend these handles a little bit in order to get them to lock. So I think long-term I'm gonna need to grind away of some parts of the latches. And I mean, you can't even see like up, up there. Can you see like, there's like a little dimple where the door closed into time and time again and created that dimple. I saw there is some leakage, not a lot, but I'm gonna have to take care of that at some point. Maybe the seals, I don't know, but that's that's not like a huge priority because it's very usable as is. I, I mean, I in a different lifetime, I might've tried to get this thing replaced with another, like get it warranted or something, but I think I'm gonna deal with it the way it is because I don't want to deal with all the shipping and um, logistics again. That with some minimal work, it'll, it'll be good as new. Not as new, but as good as uh, it was in a... Good as the other one, the other container. All right, so... I got my workshop container all vacuumed up and ready to put some stuff back in it. Eventually, I want to like customize the whole inside and do like um, custom tables, work, workbench, storage kind of stuff. But um, that's for later. I wanna try to level this container. Um, the problem is I don't really have the right jack for the job. I do want to buy one, but uh, I'm not sure which one I want to get. So it's either going to be one and a half, two, two and a half, or three ton hydraulic jack. But with my hand the way it is, I can't lift 80 pounds. 
and the three ton jack is 80 pounds so uh i know I, I have three jacks and i think two of them went can work they're just from cars i can't find one of them the other one is too tall to fit so i got this um scissor jack from my subaru according to what it says on the jack it can lift 1850 pounds this container is uh, about 4,500 pounds and with the stuff in it, let's say conservatively, it's 5,000 pounds. I'm only lifting one corner. So a 1,850 pound capacity, it should be able to lift it with a little bit to spare. Am I calculating that right? Let me use the calculator just in case. Yeah, my math is still good. Whew. So 5,000 divided by four is 1,350 and what was it? It's a, something like that. Um, and 1,850 is greater than 1,350 by about 500 pounds. So I think lifting one corner should be possible. I don't think that jack is gonna, if it, even if it fails, it's not gonna fail catastrophically and I'm not gonna put my hand underneath it, so um, I feel pretty safe. After I level it, I think the next step is to put a, like a um, step or incline plane here so I can get in and out easier with rolly kind of stuff. Rolly, 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 rolly. Uh, I try to lift it a little and it's feeling pretty sketchy like it looks it looks a little like it's going sideways like slightly and the amount of pressure i have to put on that screwdriver is like way more than i feel safe doing i have to kind of jerk it down and that can cause movement in the in the jack so I'm gonna put this down and stop doing this. And I think, I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about it more, but I might go buy like a, a ch cheap jack that I can use for whatever purposes. Or I don't know, maybe I will get the 80 pound one. And try to make it work with one and a half hand. Okay, so another thing I could try is uh, I do have a bottle jack that's pretty, it's hydraulic, pretty powerful, but it's too too tall to fit fit in there. But I could dig into the dirt and put the bottle bottle jack in the ground until it has enough clearance. Don't really want to do it because I don't want to dig. I might, I might try it. I mean, I could just wait until my hand is healed more before trying this. Man, I could I could use a haircut for sure. So what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? When I have an indecision like this, it's not it's not really good to make uh, impulse decisions. So I'm probably gonna just uh, start cleaning up this mess and think about it while I'm cleaning up. Probably go on harborfreight.com and see what's available think through it I started um, burning making a fire every day it seems to be really helping with the bugs around here there's not a ton of bugs around here but enough to be annoying and like if you have to deal with getting bug bites like every day it's it gets annoying after a while so and I'm I've, I've found that making like a smokier fire so I put a lot um, is works better I, I try to find combination of uh, dry wood and wet wood um, to burn.